and I'm going to be trying to catch a trout on fly in this little lake. Oh, yep. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, got him, got him, got him. <laughs> yes. Fish rising. Oh, cheers. My first cup of coffee from a dead boil. Very nice. Well, it has certainly been a while since I've tried to catch a trout. And I'm going to be trying to catch a trout on fly in this little lake. It's one of uh, only a handful in the Auckland region. And to be fair, I'm not very good at fishing lakes. So it's going to be interesting to try and get one. I'm starting with the V-top full weight and Trapper Creek reel with a floating line on and an indicator setup. And I'm just gonna fish off this high bank. There's a drop off. There's a drop off that runs along here. And I've been told if you drop a couple of nymphs under an indicator in there and just wait, blonking style, you can do alright. So give that a go. There's a few fish rising which is great. And if they continue to do that, I might even stick a dry on. Well, there's a fair bit of rain coming across now, but there's fish been rising consistently just around here. I'm just going to pump my flies out and see if I can pick one up. Right, so all I'm doing is plonking it out on the indicator and letting it drift really know how deep it is there. Let's see if we end up, with, end up on the bottom. Got a, oh, it, it went down. Oh, I had a take. Ah, I missed him. Just made myself a cup of coffee. Just sort of regrouping, doing a bit of planning and thinking about what I'm going to do. I've seen Chris down there hook a couple and he's just been fishing with a couple of small nymphs and a booby as an indicator and he's hooked a couple so I'm going to go back to my strategy and put on either an indicator or I might also do the same and put a booby on just a couple of small nymphs dropped underneath and see if I can hook one lakes are definitely not my forte but this is quite nice, it's a pleasant morning, hopefully the wind drops even more and maybe we'll get some sun a bit later and hopefully some fish. I haven't hooked a trout now for a very long time. I've gone for a three fly rig, we'll be at the top just as Chris has been doing and uh, two nymphs at the bottom so we'll see what happens. Buzzer. Very cool. First trout in a long time. Very nice little uh, trout there. Very cool. I'll definitely uh, got to say thanks to Chris for that uh, tip on the booby and the fly. So very, very good. First trout in ages. It feels really nice. Well, should be pretty good. Don't you have utensils, but Look. Okay, gonna go for a bit of a wander, try a different spot or two, see what I can find. Bit of a 
mission to work around this way. Bit of a walk. Okay, I'm gonna start fishing here. There's been tr trout rising everywhere here. There's one just rising here. Oops, I better go and figure out what's going on there. In this particular area. Got a bite. Yeah, got him, got him, got him. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's awesome. Very cool. Oh, he's jumping. Cool. Another trout. It's very, very cool. <laughs> nice. Rainbow is bigger than the one this morning. Cool. <laughs> very cool. Keep that one in the water. Cool. Very, very nice. Beautiful little rainbow. Very cool. Very nice to get a fish. Get a game back with you. How awesome was that? Very, very cool. Second fish. Very hopeful now. We'll see if we can get some more of these rising fish. Okay, fly change in number. Small perdigons. I am back at this cool little local lake. Oh, there's fish rising right over there. Only got two yesterday. So there's been plenty of fish rising in this calm a little bit this morning. So I'm starting with the Trapper Creek and the four weight V top. On that I've got a 9 foot tapered leader, then I've got about 4 foot of 4x to the first fly and then a dropper and then 4 foot to the point fly. The top fly is a suspender midge and the bottom fly is just a midge. I'm really hoping the midges work today. I've changed to an indicator with the nymphs underneath a little bit deeper. See what happens. It's been really slow this morning. Now I've got three nymphs on. I'm just gonna essentially roll cast and drift my way up this edge. I've got a heron copper on the point, then a CDC Prince nymph up from that, and then Close to the surface, I've got a midge. Oh, oh, I seem to be liking it when it sinks. Some interesting movements again there as it was sinking. They're at least looking. Yep. Oh yes, yes. Got him. That's a good fish. That's a solid fish. I went on five eggs. That's a very good fish. Uh, keep him out of the weeds with this five eggs. That's a good fish. Managed to get himself foul hooked. This could make it very hard to land him. He's got himself foul hooked in the prints now. Wonder which he must have had a good go at it. Do I need to go 
but such a great okay landed very cool brown trout a nice brownie very cool cool little brown trout the nymphing sort of set up working oh, waiting for that fish for a while <laughs> well that was rather nice very cool to finally get a fish after a bit of a struggle not really thick and fast action but patience is required for this method of fishing that's a decent cast come on Yes, have I got him? I think I've got him. 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 Yes. 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 Awesome. It's a rainbow. Woohoo! That's so cool. Which fly did he take? Do the hair and copper. Very cool. <laughs> Here we go. Rainbow trout. Awesome. Yeah, he took that little hair and copper. Only a little fish. Little rainbow trout, but how cool is that? Little rainbow trout. Ah, oh, so happy. Wind, tangles, and frustration has got the better of me. I'm heading home, but I really hope you enjoyed this two days of fishing and uh, the few trout I got. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one and hopefully soon more trout content.